This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. We are the hollow men. We are the stuffed men. Leaning together, headpiece filled with straw. Our dried voices, when we whispered together, are quiet and meaningless. As wind and dry grass, her rat's feet over broken glass in our dry cellar. Shape without form, shade without color, paralyzed force, gesture without motion. Those who have crossed with direct eyes to death's other kingdom, remember us, if at all, not as lost, violent souls, but only as the hollow men, the stuffed men. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert, near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command Right you're now, so, you're so, you're so disgraceful. Keep you your voice down, please. Spread. Keep your voice down. You you're a third your race reporter. Tell that it's sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal, these words appear. My, My name, name is Ozymandias. King of kings, look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. I don't take responsibility at all because we were given a, uh, a set of... Nothing beside remains. Around the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare. The lone and level sands stretch far away. Who made the world? Who made the swan and the black bear? Who made the grasshopper? This grasshopper, I mean. The one who has flung herself out of the grass. The one who is eating sugar out of my hand who is moving her jaws back and forth instead of up and down, who is gazing around with her enormous and complicated eyes. Now she lifts her pale forearms and thoroughly washes her face. Now she snaps her wings open and floats away. I don't know exactly what a prayer is. I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down to the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I've been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life?